guys and welcome to another episode of the one motorhome this is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you uh, today we're in canterbury we're at a place called choose leisure motorhomes and i'm here to demonstrate this fantastic bailey adamo 754i now the 75 stands for 7.5 meters the four stands for four berth and the I for an island bed. So it's actually got a really nice size island bed in the back. Um, as usual, we'll start off on the outside having a really good look around, and then we'll go inside, have a look at all the specification and give you some of the details of the extras that this particular van's got. But let's go. So starting off on the front of this vehicle, this is obviously built on a Ford Transit. Um, it's got a two litre, 160 brake horsepower engine fully automatic now it's got lots of extras with this cab as well so it has got let me have a look cab aircon cruise control uh driver and front passengers airbags uh, electric cab windows and power heated wind mirrors um, it's also got the new ford pass connect app technology so do check that out have a look online to see about that um, also it's got automatic headlights rain sensing windscreen wipers and of course remote control central locking for the cab and the habitation door as i mentioned it is around 7.5 meters in length but this is on a three and a half ton chassis so pretty much anyone can drive this with a normal driving license uh, it's got lots of storage so this is just one of the compartments so let's just open this up so you can have a look um, at the moment obviously this one is brand new so it's got all its carpets and everything all wrapped up in there um, but that's actually the smaller garage door and on the on the other side it's got a huge garage door which i'll show you as we go around um, this is obviously where your gas lives and you can definitely get two six kilogram bottles in there maybe even one 11 kilogram and one six kilogram on the roof just on the top there you can see that it's got a digital tv aerial um, so that's brilliant for picking up all your um, all your you know your standard free view channels and just to point out actually check this out i've just noticed this look at that so this vehicle was 75,499 on the road um, but they've actually reduced it by 5,504 pounds so it's just 69,995 on the road really nice color cab i really like the way the silver kind of glides into the habitation of course a big adamo sign there um, just down below here, this is where you plug into your electricity. And just here, this is where the toilet cassette lives. So that's just a cassette that you can pull out and obviously change uh, as and when needed. Let's see if we can open this one up. So check that out. Huge garage space on the back so you can put your bikes, blow up tents, canoes, whatever you might want in there. Um, also, you've got tie down points at the bottom. And you've even got a 12 volt point here and a three pin plug plug point here. And if you notice this little vent here, you can actually blast warm air in here. So things are not going to get cold in there. One thing to point out, look at this. You can even hang your coats or whatever you might want to hang in here if it's all wet. And it has got drainage points down at the bottom. So that is spot on. With this sort of discount on a vehicle like this, it's pretty incredible. Um, and I believe at the moment uh, they have four of these so do hurry up if you want to grab one it's got the bike rack rails on the back so you can clip a bike rack to it and uh, just up on the top there it's also comes with a reversing camera but what do you think to this guys this is an amazing van uh, 16 inch alloy wheels come with it as well um, and just a proper bit of kit isn't it um, but let's go inside and have a proper look shall we so just going into the habitation door, first thing I've noticed, it does come with a nice little bin. It's even got an umbrella holder, <laughs> look at that. Um, also, you've got privacy blinds on there and on the habitation door, you have got fly screens to stop those unwanted pests getting inside. Uh, remember guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. And if you've got something to say, do leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But um, the subscribers on this channel are going up, 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 and I'm super impressed with it. So thank you very much for subscribing, liking and commenting on the channel. Right. So in the cab, look at this. Two captain seats, both swivel seats, 
automatic gearbox. It does come with a dab radio, multifunctional steering wheel, concertina cab lines going all the way around. And just here, this is a little LCD screen. So that's your reversing camera screen uh, conveniently placed uh, where the mirror would normally be. Moving backwards a little bit, just so you can have a look at the layout. Um, this is two opposing bench seats. Now, what I've done is I've folded this one up just so you can have a look. But this it can be converted back into a bench seat. But check this out. A three point harness seat belt and it's got ISO fix. So if you're taking the little ones with you, that's got the ISO fix on it as well. And of course, that just converts back down into a sofa bed. Uh, which will look very similar to this side. Also, underneath here, we do have another pop-up seat with ISOFIX and a three-point harness. So this van will sleep for and travel for. This area does convert into a double bed. So that whole area there will convert into a double. This table can be moved around pretty much wherever you like it. And it does flip over as well. So if you want it, you can have it double the size um, and actually, when that's sat in the middle, when it's all turned around in the centre there, it's brilliant. It's a really nice place to sit and grab a bit of food. Cupboard space. So up here, we've got huge cupboards, nice skylights going all the way around the top. Again, more cupboard space here. And in the kitchen area, of course, we've got plenty of cupboard space. Um, so you're not going to struggle to find places for things to live. Um, on the habitation windows, they do have fly screens and blackout blinds. Um, and you've got two three pin plugs here. Obviously, this is your light switch and it's got a Truma uh, heating system. Uh, and that heating system will run from gas and electric. If you don't think this area is enough to get your cooking done, to do all your preparation, then they give you this, which is a nice little fold up table, which gives you a lot of extra space. And then underneath here, See if we can pop that up for you to have a look. Look at that, that's a huge oven. Uh, three gas burners and an electric hot plate. Separate grill and oven. Really nice size oven. You could cook a Sunday dinner on here without any problems. Um, a lot of people say they don't cook when they go on motorhomes, but uh, myself and my fiance, when we go out, we're always cooking and it's nice to have the facilities, isn't it? I mean, I think it's, that's what camping's all about. Big three-way fridge and freezer. So that will run from gas and electricity. Nice little drawer space at the bottom, three shelves, and then a freezer box at the top. Above that, you've got all your controls. So this is your uh, control panel where you can turn the pump on, uh, see the leisure battery voltage, uh, and basically flip through the menu on there, which is brilliant. Wastewater, uh, fresh water tank reader, internal temperature, uh, leisure battery current everything's on there uh, for you to see also you've got a little um, little plug point here where you can plug in two USB so you could have your, your mobile phones or whatever charge in there and this is to lower the table so this table if you notice it's on a telescopic um, uh, uh, pole here and that will electronically go up and down and that's so you can make it into a double bed just up top here, first thing I'm going to point out is, again, you can hang your coats here. So when you come in, you can hang your coats. You've got a little pocket to put your wallet and things. And they give you a nice grab rail, rail actually, to get into this vehicle. So that's very nice. And then up top here, this is cool. Look at this. This is for a flat screen TV. So you can have your flat screen, screen TV living on there. And then up top there, you've got a three pin plug, 12 volt point, and obviously the connection for your... Uh, TV aerial, which as I mentioned, you've got that up on the roof uh, as standard with this van. Going towards the back of the van, this is one thing I like. So you've got lots of separation in this vehicle, so you can completely close off the living area with the bedroom. And not only that, is you can shut this one off as well. So this one will come across. And what that means is that you've got a nice central area with a toilet and shower. So if one person in the living area who's asleep wants to go to the toilet, they're not going to annoy the person uh, who's in the bedroom and uh, vice versa also. Um, in here, we've got a really nice shower. So let's have a look at that. 
great modern looking vehicle, I have to say. Um, and none of those sort of, you know, in a lot of these motorhomes, they have the curtains that kind of stick to you. But this has got a really nice um, plastic uh, a, a door that go, comes across and nothing's going to get wet and it's not all going to stick to you. Um, at the other side, so let's just shut this off. This is where the toilet is. So you've got an electric flush toilet, lots of cupboard space and a nice sink. And of course, everything runs hot and cold. And then does this open? Yes, look at that. Um, so you can keep all your, all your perfumes or your aftershaves and things can stay in there. And of course, you've got a window in the toilet. And on this one, you have got, again, fly screens and blackout blinds. Do you know, I'm so shocked that they've reduced this vehicle by so much. So if you are interested in something like this, three and a half ton automatic island bed, four berth, four traveling seat belts um, at such a good price. It's it, well, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, this is the island bed. At the moment, it's in the upright position, but you can pull that and it pulls it out so you can lie down properly. But the way it is at the moment, you can just sit up and have a cup of tea or something. Just here, you've got steps to get into this, so that's very convenient. And underneath, you've got lots of storage here if you wanted extra bedding and things like that. So one thing this van is not short of is storage. A couple of little reading lights up on the top, and you've got wardrobes either side, so you've got hanging rails in here where you can hang all your clothes. Um, and all in all, just a really nice bit of kit, isn't it? And um, skylights everywhere and it's really bright in here. I mean, I've not turned on any of the lights so you can see just how bright and airy this vehicle feels. Um, but again, guys, let me know what you think about this van. Um, I think it is fantastic. So then, guys, Bailey Adamo, brand new, ready to go. And not only that, they've got four of them and reduced by £5,504 pounds so if you're wanting to get out this season in a motorhome then this is a really good choice just to go through a few of the extras with you as i mentioned 160 brake horsepower automatic it's just under 7.5 meters in length uh, it's around 2.4 meters in width um, and it's got the 16 inch alloy wheels and as i mentioned and i can't stress this enough this is on a three and a half ton chassis so you can drive it on a standard car license which is amazing um, it has got a hundred liters fresh water tank it's got a hundred liters wastewater tank uh, what else have we got on here um i'll give you the bed sizes on the screen of this um, so actually i'll go through it with you why not so the front double is 2.2 meters by around 1.2 meters and the rear double is around 1.9 meters by around 1.6 meters so massive double bed at the back and an island bed so you don't have to hop over each other at night to get out and uh, go and use the toilet or whatever you might be doing um, has got a solar panel on the roof so it's got an 80 watt solar panel um, and this thing comes with a huge warranty as well so it's supplied with a six year transferable body shell warranty and a three year transferable manufacturer's warranty uh, the aerial on the top is a 550 status uh, telescopic directional aerial um, and as i mentioned if you are taking the kids in this it has got iso fix in the back as well which a lot of motomes don't have um, this i mean the list goes on and on with this vehicle but all i can recommend is that you come down and have a look at this uh, because they've got four here and they're all ready to go um, and as you know, guys, I'm often here at Choose Leisure doing these demonstrations. And not only do they have these ones, they've got probably around 100 motorhomes for you to have a look at. Um, my name's Jonathan. Obviously, this is the One Motorhome channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll put another video on for you soon. Take care. Bye bye.